What is going on guys, it's your boy Baitless here today. We do have a review that we're going to be doing for you. I did a couple videos in the past about it and I felt like it was a little too early to do a review on it. I've owned it for two years now and this is it. So we have uh, Hoodoo Hero 130 that we're going to be reviewing. It is a 13.1, 39.5 inch beam. Weighs about 105 pounds, last I checked. It does fluctuate on some reviews. Some say 108, some say 106. So we're going to just say 105. Not a big difference in three pounds. So I ended up purchasing one um, after I sold my John boat uh, because I wanted to hit salt water a little more and I was more of a lone wolf. I had a 16 foot John boat in the past, wanted something solo, and ended up looking at uh, the Hoodoo Hero 130. I was interested in the solo skiff, but that didn't work out, so I didn't do it. I ended up getting a black with space gray sea deck, and that ran me about 1400 bucks. There was some special that was going on. I ended up getting it without the motor. I did not get the package option. I figured you're saving a couple hundred bucks on tax anyways, so regardless, it's not a huge difference. They are giving you everything that you need to be ready for the water. So if you guys don't want to wait, just pull the trigger on that. But if you guys have something waiting at home or you have plans for something else, pull the trigger on that as well. Cost without the motor, $17.99. That's how much it is. With tax, jumps up to however much tax is. Now with the motor, you're looking at about $34.99. So about $3,500 with the motor, tax ends up being that amount. Now, the reason why I got this is because I didn't want to spend $25,000 on a boat when I can easily do everything that I can do in a boat in a kayak. Now, my thought process was I just need to stand up. I need to be comfortable standing up. I need something more stable, something stable enough to get me on the water and do my fly fishing maneuvers and hopefully everything goes well. One of the huge things that I like about it is the transportation portion of it. I didn't want to trailer it. I had a trailer in the past with my John boat. Not a huge fan, HOA's a bitch. So I ended up just getting a kayak hitch extender for about 25 bucks on Marketplace and it is phenomenal. I have a mid-sized truck, not a huge truck. I put it in the back of the bed, it sticks out about five feet, put a flag on it, you're A-OK. -okay. You strap it down right, no issues at all. So that was one big thing that I liked about it. Once I'm on the water, the best way to get in the water is to be shoreline. From there, you pull your kayak back in the water, it dips down, floats, you're ready to go. Convenience, really, that's all it is. When I got this boat, it was very plain, very plain looking. I actually wasn't satisfied. I ended up getting an umbrella table and I used that as a casting platform for the skiff. Put it right on top of the OEM seat and it fit phenomenally. I added a couple fishing rod holders for convenience and on my right side and then uh, I had my camera mounted up there uh, I ended up removing that just because it was getting caught in the fly line but there was a few things that I felt needed to be done to the kayak but I couldn't tell what I needed exactly without going out and seeing what I needed so going out was definitely trial and error for a while I mean I wasn't catching fish for the first month or so just because I was trying to get my P's and Q's together original seat that's on there is horrible hurt your back you gotta install something on there to, to make it easier on your back I built a stand-up bar in the front uh, to help with the stability when I was standing up and when I was fishing cuz it's not really that fun when you got some waves coming you got nothing to grab onto except for just the boat itself so I bought some ace hardware materials and I bolted it onto the rails that they have installed on the boat already and Everything worked out great. Put some pool noodles over it and some zip ties, make it look a little pretty and everything was awesome. There was no issues after that. It was aesthetically pleasing, so I wasn't really complaining. I wasn't gonna hash out 300 bucks for a stand-up bar. I'd rather make it. You can make it yourself too, guys. Just go ahead and get a walker or something like that you see on the side of the street, boom, you got yourself a $300 stand-up bar. So that was really easy. It cost me about 35 bucks at Ace Hardware. I didn't like the space gray decking so I changed that to brown or a teak finish. The old space gray sea deck was already falling apart after the second or third day of going out on the water. Salt water really deteriorates it, the adhesive is trash on there so expect it to fall off. I ended up using a spray adhesive and the adhesive that came on the actual sea deck and that worked beautifully. There's no edges lifting up at all. I ended up installing a ruler on the left side. Uh, there's not many places you can place a ruler let alone have a ruler on the boat. For my ideal fishing, this is what has come about. 
Uh, I try to make everything as smooth and flush as possible. Not a lot of hang up points, not any sharp corners, any hooks, anything like that. My push pull and my paddle are on my left side and my right side is completely free. So is my back and so is my front. My fish finder used to be on the bottom right. I changed it to the right hand side of the grab bar just so the fly line didn't get caught up in that. Like I said, I'm doing all these mods specific to my kind of fishing, which is fly fishing. So if you guys do spin, if you guys bait cast, if you guys spear fish, whatever it is, you guys can rig it out to how you want. I mean, for bow fishing specifically, you can rig it out with a ton of LEDs all around the edges and go out at night and you're having a blast all day. And that's probably what I'm going to do eventually. <laughs> it's an awesome little craft. <clears throat> it tracks really well. The ideal water conditions are going to be away from boats. I mean, that's a given. Uh, especially in something as small as this. I'm a smaller frame guy. I'm by no means controlling this vessel more than it controls me. So we're essentially in tandem and that's how you'll feel once you're on the water. It's not always stained glass all the time. Expect it to be stained glass and then get rough when you come back. That's when you really notice what it can do. Now don't get me wrong, it's very capable of going offshore even. I've seen some um, solo skips go offshore and they have no problems. Now it's just the captain behind it. You have to learn how to man this kind of boat. Your weight definitely maneuvers the boat in a way that will either benefit you or destroy you. So your weight distribution plays a huge effect on how it planes, how fast you go, and how much weight you actually make. You guys can mod it in whatever way you want. I've modded it very specific to my liking. I hope you guys enjoyed what I've done to it so far. Um, as you can see in some videos, I've changed some accents up and all that good stuff. So this is essentially a kind of a timeline. Uh, this is how it looks like now. So if you guys like it, you know, let me know. Let me know if you guys have any questions about any other mods that I'm potentially interested in. I'm interested in actually making a micro pull, a DIY micro pull. Other than that, just be real careful with this kind of craft, guys. It's super fun, don't get me wrong, but you really have to be confident on the water. One, you, the first time you go out there, don't go out there thinking you're going to catch a ton of fish. Go out there thinking that I have to learn how to use this vessel before I put my full attention on my gear, on my fish, on my rod tip, on my live bait, on everything else besides what's going on around you. There's a lot of things that can happen on the water, and water switches up real quick. And this craft, don't get me wrong, it's very capable, but you have to be very capable as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Always have your, always have your life vest on you always have it on you whether it's a pool whether it's a goofy looking one whether it's a pink one i don't care what it looks like you have to have it on one it's illegal and two that thing can save your life another thing that is probably one of the most if not the most important thing about having a craft like this it's just like a jet ski you fall off and that pull cord is not on you it is gonna continue to go forever you can either hurt somebody or kill somebody always have it around your wrist your ankle somewhere secured on your body that is not gonna fall off because that is your lifeline if you lose that you're fucked all in all guys if you guys want to get this boat I say pull the trigger it's one of the coolest things I've ever owned that's about it I'm sure I missed a few things but if you guys point them out go ahead and comment for me hope you guys enjoy this is baitless I'm out